Hey, Melissa, what's the weather? Let's see whether the weather is any good. <laughs> I love that one. Right now in the villages, it's 86 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today's forecast is partly sunny weather with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 73 degrees. Thank you. Hey guys. I was Where like, are, are you going to do stuff here? What are you doing? <laughs> I heard the, uh, the I had video. to stop the video because it was open in another tab. Yes, we are live. And today we are going to do the card that we did on Saturday. We designed on Saturday with a challenge from all of you guys. It was a lot of fun, I thought. Let me know what you think. If you're watching the replay, leave us a comment if you want us to do more challenges like that. We also wanted you to do the challenge. I actually did two challenges. We did one with the panda and uh, sunflower. But today we're doing the flamingo and the butterfly. And I'm going to be using my Arteza Everblend markers on my cardstock. And we're using smart cardstock for a lot of it. So I guess that's it. We're live. Where are we live? Oh, Who are we? hi, I'm Melody Lane. And this is Alex Beard Adventures. He has a channel. Crafting with Beard Adventures. Yeah. And then also just regular Beard Adventures where I... He goes on adventures. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you entered the Cricket Cutie costume party? We're having a costume contest for Cricket Cuties. So it's not too late to enter. Um, that will be on October 16th, 2021. We are, uh, you get to see all of the cuties and you get to vote on four of them of whichever one you want. Out of four. We, of we four. choose four. We're going to choose four because we put a poll on YouTube and you guys get to vote for the last one and the winner gets a hundred bucks. So I'm really excited. Yeah. We have a lot of good ones sent in already. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's it. For today's project, I'll show you how to find it. You go to my website, MelodyLaneInspired.com. You do have to have a password. And the password was just changed today. So mm -hmm. I want to make that clear. The password was changed today. If you are a supporter, you should have an email with that password link. And, um, well, it's not a link, a password and the link to my page to find it. Okay, so once you go to my page, MelodyLaneInspired.com, you click on Supporter Projects. Do not click here. <laughs> It's the start it's, here. I know. <laughs> the start here is for people that do not have a password. Okay. And they can see some projects, but they can't open them. And there's FAQ, which answers lots of questions that I'm asked every day. Yeah. I just wish they'd go there first. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's there for. Um, but click on supporter projects. There is a password. This one was easy for me to remember. And uh, you can search for the project name. You can search by the type. There's tons. You can't even see them all in the video. And then by theme. So when it's um, new, you can just go to new and check out the newest files. There's Baby Yoda as a cute, cutie dressed as a Baby Yoda. Uh, so this is the card we're doing today. If you go to page two, you will see the other card we did in the challenge. And if you guys do this card or do the challenge, um, share it. And you don't have to have it designed just like mine. You can, of course, use my file if you are a supporter. But if not, you can just use the challenge. And in the description of this video, we have the sentiment we had to use birthday. We had to use the colors teal, blue, and gray. And we had to have a flamingo and a butterfly and the shape octagon. 
So to open my files, all you have to do is click open here and then it will bring you to a Cricut page and then you click open again. You do not need to click this or click download. You do not download my files, you open them unless you don't have design space. Look at Elon, isn't he cute? He's really not cute. <laughs> um, and then these are what we've used. I thought we didn't use this one. I need to delete this if that's in there because we didn't use that one. I think I have it in the layers panel and that one is not in access. So we took that out and I found access images. Okay, but let's just go ahead and get started making it. Okay. I have this and I used pink pen and I used the mint pen, this one, the gel mint. And I think this is one of those pins that work on the black paper really well. It's really hard to see on here. I can see it in person better than what we can see on the video. video. I almost said computer. So I made a square card. You don't have to make a square card if you follow. All you have to do for the challenge is to follow the sentiment and the colors and everything. You don't win anything, but if you share it, share it with hashtag Melody Lane challenge. Okay, so we're putting the things on the front. I have the tree. The yellow, so I used smart paper, so the, pa the papers are still in here. Oh, the gray. This, I had to add gray. So I put it as a offset of the um, yellow octagon, which I made to look like a sun. Okay. So I'm just going to start with the sun. And put it on here. Ooh. I didn't get that very even now, did I? It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to color the sun, though. I'm going to color it on this so I don't ruin the... I just want to give it a little more dimension. You know what I could have done is colored it right on that paper before I took it off because I'm getting some of it on the gray. I feel like you're hiding the gray. I am. I didn't want to use gray. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my choice. So in the in the class, what I had is I had people pick the sentiment. And then Jamie was the final chooser of the sentiment. And then I had them pick the colors. And they all chose colors. And then Jamie chose from colors that they said and chose the final colors. Probably what was said more of. I assume, I don't know. There, now I made the sun round. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to do this, like, kind of like sun rays. I don't know. Things just pop in my head to do. So I'm doing them. I think you should have left it. Now at least. You won't see much of it anyway. Yeah. It's going to hide behind the sun. What? I the mean, tree? the tree. Okay, we're not putting the, we're not going to put the things down yet. Quite yet. Why not? Um because 
Uh -oh. What do we have here? Oh, I'm sorry. I got two of them. Okay. It's fine. That's my butterfly. Where's the other, where's my other butterfly? Oh, here it is. And the cupcake. Here, we can put the butterfly together. I cut it out with smart paper. And you know what? I'm going to go over the edge of it. I got to poke out the little holes. I was really worried that this wouldn't cut at all. These tiny, tiny holes. But they did. Okay. Betsy says, how about some glitter brushed on the sun? Oh, good idea. So I'm going over around this butterfly so it doesn't look white on the edges. Because the smart, the small paper, the well, smart paper, <laughs> I don't know, words are hard, uh, is not like solid core. It has white on the edge. So I'm just marking them up. What's the name of the gel brush? No, gel, like for the glitter, the um, shimmer. Is it the shimmer thing or the glitter? I don't know. I don't remember. So there's the butterfly. He's going to go over there somewhere. And I also have grass that I marked up. So we're going to add more texture and dimension. Not really texture. Yeah, it's just going to look like texture with the grass. So I use two different colors of markers. You know, I'm going to do it this way because then I get it from the bottom and I'm just making streaks with two different colors of green. Someone said their printer uh, prints on the sticker paper. Oh, cool. And I'm going to go through with shorter pieces. Yes, Denise. She says, can you use removable vinyl on a card, even though I do not want to remove it? Oh, yeah. It's great on cards. I was going to use it for the butterfly. Where did that come from? <laughs> I had my hand on it, oh. and it picked it up. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, oh, that's my candle for my card. I need that. I'm going to turn it over. Now you do not have to be neat doing this. You can't say you can't draw or color. I'm just making lines. They're not even straight lines. Oh, let me do this one while we're here. Instead of keep changing markers. And I'm going to cut off these little squares here at the end of the 
uh, grass. I think these pieces of grass were made for something that needed to be glued together. Cool. So where is this going? Is it just all going on the front? Yes. What if you added dimension by folding it one backwards? So then it sticks up a little bit, like sticks out a little bit. You mean the grass? Like, I yeah. don't know what you mean. Fold one of the things back that you're going to cut off and glue on that little tab. So then it just gives a little bit of a... You mean like this? Uh-huh. Just to give it more dimension? Yeah. I'm gonna, I was going to use foam tape. Oh. But one of these... Oh, I forgot this one. I'm going to put behind the flamingo. So it looks like, so it looks like the grass. flamingo is in the grass. Do you want me to grab the foam tape since you don't have it out here? Sure. It's right behind you. I know. I'm trying to make lines not all the same length. Somebody brought, bought a t-shirt. It says anonymous because you have to actually put your name in to be put on here. and Most people don't know that. They might not even be watching the video. Yes, Wink of Stella, but mine are, I have a different brand. Actually, all I have is this one. Because I put all of my other ones of color into my crafting house that I run out to people. So this one is Crystal Clear Spectrum Noir Sparkle. Um, Michelle says the card challenge was the first I had watched live and really enjoyed it. Do you use a lot of vinyl? Um, I can't say I use a lot of vinyl. And when I do do vinyl, I usually do it on paper. She does have videos of vinyl, though. Yeah, I do have videos of vinyl. The reason I don't use a lot of vinyl is because once you know how to do vinyl, you know how to do it. You know, so I don't have... I have videos on how to do it. Do you see the sparkle? Thank you. Is that Betsy that yeah. gave the idea for the sparkle? Okay. And I have to look. I'm looking over at my screen with the picture of um, the card. So I know where things go. Good morning, Linda. Let's go ahead and do the tree. I feel I just feel like I need to get everything ready before I glue anything onto the card. Oh, and I want to also don't want to lose these little pieces. Use this green on the tree. See, I reuse my smart paper. I don't cut this off. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to stick it back in the machine to cut. And you don't have to use smart paper. You know what? I want to go around the outside edge, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I haven't used any glue yet. This is going to go on the tree. Remember, we cut off the tree so it would fit right on the edge of the car. Okay, now I'm going to use this and go around the edge. What's the name of the marker or the glitter marker thing that you use? This one is Spectrum Noir Sparkle. I got it from HSN years ago. Hmm. Look what I just did. 
That's all right. I'll fix it. Someone says, sorry I'm late. No need to be sorry. <laughs> yeah, I get that every video. People coming in late saying they're sorry. It's not mandatory that you come on time. I did have somebody one time that when I first moved here, I didn't have my craft room set up, you know, and it took time to uh, get everything together so I could get to crafting again. And uh, so I still had to do videos just because I felt like that's my connection with you guys and I miss you guys if I'm not doing videos. So uh, I was doing videos on the golf cart. So I, if you don't know, I live in a community where we can drive um, everywhere on the golf cart. Like we can drive for over an hour and we're still in uh, my community, my village. No, it's called the villages where I live, but it's more like a city. It's the largest retirement community in the world. So we can get everywhere. And I live here. Yeah. And I'm not retired. I'm not retired either. Um, I am tired. But uh, it was so much fun to drive the golf cart. I don't know if this is going to be good or not now. I feel like. Because of your mess up. So you're just trying to. Well, I was going to add more green in it to give it more dimension. Kind of like I did the grass. But it's kind of weird looking with the. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Does that go that there way? Go. <laughs> uh, so I, I drove the golf cart around live in video, and somebody says um, she didn't like that. <laughs> she, she subscribed to my channel for crafting videos. And I said, well, I do say, you can tell by the title of the video if it's crafting or not, I do say it's golf cart ride. I don't try to trick anyone and say, hey, we're doing crafts, but we're not. So I, I mentioned that to her, and she says, so I don't have to watch those videos? Um, she thought that because she was subscribed, she had to watch every single video, which, you know, that would be awesome. But no, it's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and you choose what you want to watch. Cindy, it's called The Villages, and it is called, that's the name of the city in, in Florida. Yeah, it's Central called. Central Florida, it's about 30 minutes south of Ocala, and about an hour north of north Orlando. West of Orlando. Is this looking better now? Starting to. <laughs> I went a little overboard on some of it. I'm gonna use the other green too. It's not really a, a community. Uh, it, it is, but it's, I don't know. I wouldn't, all the roads are public, so. It's not like... It's in three counties. Yeah, it's a very large area. There's over 100 miles of golf cart roads. There's, uh, it's over 50 square miles. Square miles. Yeah. We have over 3,000, 3,200 groups. Clubs. They're not really groups, they're clubs. That you can join. It's free. We're originally from an hour south of Chicago, Kankakee. Okay. See, no, I think that's going to look good. Yeah, it's fine. It though. doesn't look horrible. You, you made it better with the, the line going down the middle of each one. Yeah. 
I forgot what palm trees look like, even though they're outside my window. No, they're not. That's not a palm tree. Out this window? If you I go, can, if you, yeah, if I can't. Yeah. yeah, I can't see it right now. <laughs> But if I stand up and I walk you, five you feet, like looked out the window and I'm like, that's yeah. not a palm tree. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm hiding it behind there because you don't want it. Because it's there. octagon. It's, it's gray. And hey, it's and I'm gonna tell you guys. Somebody did the challenge. Some of you have done the challenge and posted it. They made an octagon shaped car. That's what I thought you were gonna do. Well, I didn't that even think of that. <laughs> When you said octagon, oh. I'm like, oh, an octagon shaped card. Yeah. No, oh, that was immediately a great. Where my mind went. <laughs> that was a great idea. So now I'm going to use the glue because this gray is not sticker paper. I am a member. Where do I go for a password for October? Check your email because it was just posted today and it should be in your email. Uh, but if you are a Patreon member, you go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane. Make sure you're logged in. Yes, you have to be logged in in order to see it. Once you're logged in, it is the top post. So I'm just going to stick this up here. Nikki. Nikki says, the local paper is the Daily Sun. My community column is published every Monday. Yes, Nikki writes for the paper. I didn't know that. I did. I forgot about it. <laughs> That's where that's going to go. But I'm going to pop him out. I'm going to pop up the tree. Gil, did you download the village's GPS app? She said when we would get lost, we would just pull over and so many would stop and help us out. Yes, people are really nice. Very helpful. So I'm using foam tape to pop out the tree. So I just cut it in half this way. Alex does uh, rides on his channel now too, his adventure channel, golf cart rides. I need to do another sunset I still do video. them. Yeah, I have not done a sunset video in so long. I used to get the sunrise and sunset. I kind of want to do one, but I don't want to do it live. Oh, yeah, so you can see it better? Yeah. But I agree. I want to do it with my camera, like my actual camera. Oh, well, you know, you could do them both. You could set up your actual camera while you're live on your phone. Yeah, but no, no, no. I, I have a gimbal for it, so I want to, like, do the whole ride and everything with the gimbal. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this. <laughs> do I sound surprised? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> I like how it has the dimension yeah, in the sun. Good. Doesn't that look cool? Alrighty. Okay. Never get the sun is off again. But it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is your flamingo yellow? No, my flamingo is pink. Oh, so His pretty. arms and legs are yellow. The arms? Well, I guess he doesn't have <laughs> arms. His wings. I'm going to add wings to him. And I wonder, you know what? I'm going to add some wings to him right on here. I'm just going to add some color to him, make him a little should, darker at the bottom. You should make it where the wings go up, like it has a little fold, and that's black underneath because they, they have like black under their wings. Ignore yeah. Me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they do. Can you guys see? I'm not done. I got two colors of pink. See this? I can kind of scribble on the outside. Um, where'd you get the foam tape? Michaels? There's a link in the description below from Amazon. Lisa's shading. Alex, you do it. <laughs> no, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I just, I have photos of like the, them like, you know, dry, drying their wings in the sun. 
Yeah. And there are, they got like black feathers. Yeah, I understand that, Gail. Some what? Of the golf cart roads were somewhat hidden. Yeah. I got lost a lot. It was fun. What are you laughing at? He's laughing at me coloring. No, I'm not. That's I'm, not nice. I'm not laughing at him. Hold on. Don't jump, <laughs> jump straight to conclusions here. I'm laughing because it doesn't have a beak right now. And it just looked funny. It's the yes, first time it I noticed does. it without a beak. I'm going to make this shading a jump little deeper. right to conclusions. Okay. Thank you, Sue. Don't forget to like the video. You can close out the chat and click the thumbs up. That's very important for YouTube and it doesn't cost a thing. It only takes a second. Look, that's pretty. Okay, now we got to put it on the yellow guy. I guess I should have taken it. I'm going to put him down first. Oh, wait, I can't put him down first yet. Mingo's going to hang out. Oh, we're blurry. Hello, blurriness. Uh, it's fixed. There. Oh, there. I wanted to put some grass down first. I'm going to cut off this. He's laughing. I was just laughing at the floating flamingo. I just <laughs> you gotta take it where you go. I'm used to doing I did hair for 25 years. I did a lot of things with a lot of tools in my hand all at the same time. <laughs> Joan says it does look like a worm coming out of an apple. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to kind of weed this off the smart Linda, paper. Yes, the uh, Amazon links are affiliate links, so there is a small commission. Yes, there is a bit of a commission. Very small, but it's there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if this is a good spot. Oh, it's like where it is on there, but the cupcake was in front. I might have to glue that piece down. That'll be fine. I just glued him down with the flamingo. The tree? Yeah, because we got to put the cupcake up here. Okay, I'm going to put this on. The flamingo carries the cupcake on his back. Okay. Now we can, I guess we'll try what you said. Just fold that back. And then foam tape. Oh, right in front of me. No, I do not do hair anymore. I don't have time to do hair. I am running my Facebook groups for crafting and making videos. I actually refuse to do hair. I won't even cut Alex's hair, my mom's hair. My mom didn't like that. So for Mother's Day, Christmas, birthday, my mom gets gift certificates to get our hair done. Like a 
gift certificate that she can keep going back. I just decided one day when I realized, oh my gosh, this was in 2014. I realized in September I would have been doing hair 25 years. And so I made up my mind I need to find a way to make money and to be able to do videos and craft. So that's what I did. I started Patreon. I'm glad you stuck with the crafting over the hair well the the knitting oh or whatever you i was crocheting crocheting yeah i was making quilts too i just couldn't see myself doing any of that i could do this a little bit but <laughs> uh, no. yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't be my assistant if no. i was still doing that no i wouldn't need you to be <laughs> So I just popped up this one side. I guess I should put glue on this side. I miss justice. And then I'm also going to bend back a few of these. I guess I'll wait till I get the last piece on. Because I'm going to put this on. I'm going to cut off this one. I'm going to glue this side and put foam tape on the other side. Melissa well, says she's trying to open the 21 shaped birthday card in uh, the Patreon project. It says project unavailable. Huh. I will have to look at that. Shirley says, Alex, don't ever call crochet knitting. I, I don't know what it was. It was crochet. <laughs> They're not the same. Okay. It's all the same to me. <laughs> Sewing can go in there with it, too. There. Now it has layers of grass. I think it looks cool. Okay, now, do you see my butterfly? The one that you finished? Yes. I, don't, I can't see anything with this in the way. I lost my butterfly. Look under your markers. <gasps> oh no, my cupcake. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'll do my cupcake while my butterfly is hanging around somewhere. Look, you need to look under your markers, look, look at the top. They're not under my markers. What's under the black piece? I am. Look nope. under the card? Nope. Look in the card. How'd you lose it? I don't know. Do you guys see my butterfly? Did it go under the machine? Do you see it? No. It's dark. <laughs> okay, give me this. We gotta do the cupcake. Jamie said that card opens for her fine. What are you doing? I'm just looking for the... You think he flew one. behind the tree? Okay, so I have this cupcake piece. And we had it fit right around the flamingo.
and then that piece fits right there and this piece goes above it Oh, and someone said under my scissors. So we're putting the frosting on and the little candle wick. And then we have this little teal candle. I'm just going to put glue on here because it's easier than putting it here. See, and you can see the little brown wick. And the butterflies. Should we pop up the butterfly? Yeah. It's a little flaming. Yeah. It flew away. So the butterfly is leading the way inside. Happy birthday. It's hard to read that mint color. You should have done like a the gray marker where it says happy birthday. And that be my gray? And then put the mint over top of the gray. Oh. Yeah. I like how the cupcake is um, on top of the flamingo. <laughs> We're coming to wish you a happy birthday. And I like the grass. That he looks like he's standing in the grass. I like it. Should have done a light blue card. So then it would have been like this guy. Yeah. I could have. Can you see enough? Yeah. The markers really helped out. Yeah, I like it with uh, the markers gives it a little shading to the flamingo he would have just been plain one color you know what though the flamingo's beaks are black on the ends so i'm taking a fine point just because that's what was sitting here and the color in his beak on the end. I think it's actually more than that, but I don't want to mess it. Where else can we add sparkle? To the butterfly. The tree shining off the sun. The candle or the flame. I'm going to put it inside this little design that the cricket drew on here. Let me just don't want... Oh, you know what? Let's let's do the palm tree. What are you talking about? Uh, palm trees don't have smooth Oh, yeah. How do they go? Uh, no. <laughs> Away. I'm just going to yeah, do this. That sounds good. It looks good. It sounds good? Yep. 
The sound of the marker. Sounds good. <laughs> Miss Miss Jones says, "Ooh, save this card for my 80th birthday, January 14th." Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna flip back some grass. There. See what I did to the palm tree trunk? That does not take talent, let me tell you guys. I just scribbled on it. And then I just bent back some of this grass. So any of you can do that. I added a little glitter in that little design on the cupcake and to the butterfly wings. Angie says the shading really made it. Yeah, that's why I did this and I wanted to show you guys. I don't always do a lot of shading, but it really makes a difference. So I wanted to show you it's not really too hard. Happy birthday. All right. Do you guys have any questions about anything? child at heart. Leave me and my Capri Sun alone. Capri Sun. <laughs> Whose idea was it to get Capri Sun? Hers. <laughs> I'm like, I want Capri Sun. I haven't had those in years. And then I got the fruit punch one. I'm like, oh, these are so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking Wild Cherry Waterfall. It's, it's delicious. It's flavored water. It's only flavored water. Yes better for you yes than the real stuff all natural ingredients thank you guys um remember to join the the cutie contest we've got lots of cuties <laughs> well, angel yeah, here's cutie skeleton there's more Go ahead. and to make sure that you come, uh, even if you don't do a cutie, and that we're going to give away candy. We're not giving away one candy bar, like it's trick or treating. We're going to we're going to do giveaways, have night pop, choose winners, and we're going to buy candy on Amazon that you could give away for Halloween, like a bag of candy or something, and we'll have it sent to your house from Amazon. Cindy yeah. puts Capri Sun in her hubby's lunch every day. That's so good. It just feels like a nice little treat, doesn't it? And I think you made fun of me for buying them? <laughs> no, I was, I maybe. He did. <laughs> but when I lived in Georgia, they had Capri Suns a lot. But they also had kids. Yeah. So. All right. And, um... Oh, they want to know about the um, I don't know what the party the Halloween party the 16th so if you go to my channel my channel my website and go to what's happening what's happening what's happening scroll down cutie Halloween party Keep All the information is here. We're also going to have a challenge with other Cricut product experts on the 15th, Friday night before this event. And I give you my email so you can send me pictures of the cute cuties so no one gets to see them unless you post them. But I don't show them. I got hiccups. I don't show them to anyone. 
except for Alex, and then we choose the winners. This happened to me. I don't get the hiccups unless I'm what? I'm in video. <laughs> Miss Jess says the candy giveaway thing is October 16th. During... That's this. During yes. this, we're going to give away candy. And you get to vote on the winning um, cutie. All right, guys. I might, I might, I might see you later. Yeah. Maybe. Or tomorrow. Yeah. Possibly. All right. Love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to leave me a comment after the video. Thumbs up and subscribe if you're not, because it's free. Free. F R E E. That's spells free. Got a little cheer going on there? It's a commercial. Oh. It's stuck in my head. <laughs>